Film festivals provide a perfect place to launch new projects and get publicity for its stars. We're breaking down the best of the fest from 2012. Hollywood A-listers trekked out to the California desert for the 23rd annual Palm Springs International Film Festival. Angelina Jolie was there to support her man Brad Pitt in more ways than one. The actor, who was honored at the awards gala, had been using a cane after injuring his leg. Palm Springs is a destination to get out of, you know, for us to get out of and away from LA and and, uh, and relax a little bit. Robert Pattinson stepped out to the Berlin Film Festival in promotion of his period drama, Bellamy. And even though he shaved his trademark mop of hair, the fans still went wild. I understand the hype about Twilight, but uh, I mean, I, I just like it that people follow me to other movies, so hopefully that will go on for quite a while. Robert De Niro's Tribeca Film Festival opened with some laughs. Stars Emily Blunt and Jason Segel kicked off the fest with their romantic comedy, The Five-Year Engagement. At the Cannes Film Festival, expecting mom Reese Witherspoon shined on the red carpet, alongside leading man Matthew McConaughey at the premiere of their southern drama, Mud. Nicole Kidman and Clive Owen were also on hand for a screening of their HBO movie, Hemingway and Gellhorn. James Marsden enjoyed time as a guest of honor at the Maui Film Festival. They are projecting these movies on this, this slope of this crater and, uh, and you look up and see every star in the universe and you smell these everywhere and it's, it's gorgeous. Beefcake was on the menu at the closing night of the Los Angeles Film Festival. Channing Tatum led the pack of pumped up actors for the premiere of Magic Mike, a stripper flick partly based on Channing's previous job as an exotic dancer. Angelina Jolie dropped by the Sarajevo Film Festival where she received an Honorary Citizen Award for her directing debut in The Land of Blood and Honey, a love story set during the Bosnian War. The 37-year-old actress spoke of her fondness for the festival. Brad and I, so the first time we came, we, we, as soon as we left, we said that was the best festival we've ever been to because people are here to share. They're here from all around, uh, from Yugoslavia, to listen to each other, to be together, to make art. And, uh, and, and it's, not a, it's not just about film. It's about what film means and it's about sharing. So it's, it's the best festival. Kate Hudson and Leah Schreiber were the first stars on board at the Venice Film Festival and arrived for a photo call the only way you can in the city of water, by boat. The pair was there to peddle their political drama, The Reluctant Fundamentalist. Kristen Stewart talked up on the road at the Toronto International Film Festival. I personally always feel an enormous amount of pressure before I go into any film. In this case, like, the, just to feel not like a bunch of stupid kids that, that sort of are fans of the book because it's free and it's fun. It's like it's so much more than that. At the London Film Festival, Marion Cotillard discussed her starring role in Rust and Bone, in which she plays a trainer of killer whales. Then there's something very special, you know, with them because they're huge, gigantic, beautiful, and still wild. And that wraps this look back at the film festivals of 2012.